So this is something I've only really ever thought of by myself. And I've, I never really expressed my uh, opinions about it and my methods to it, what I feel works. Um, it's kind of a, a, a niche topic, anecdotally anyways. You know, I don't, I'm not surrounded by a lot of people that need to hear this, I guess, or would even want to hear it. But I think it's, it, it's important to recognize the differences of loneliness and aloneness. And I'm no sort of a psychotherapist, psychologist, psychiatrist, anything like that. Um, these are just things that I've thought of on my own and um, things I've workshop in my head that at times have been paid off for me and that other times have failed. But like, for instance, um, when it comes to being lonely, that's kind of a, a state of being that's sort of surrounded by a sense of hopelessness. Um, where, where you're trying to hang on to this, this, this pinhole of light that's so far above your head. It, it used to be such a wider aperture, but now it's, it's, it's fallen to be reduced to this, um, this bleak final glimmer of hope that's still fighting on. That, that's what I feel like loneliness can be anyways. People can have fits of loneliness, but I'm talking about extreme loneliness where you feel as though you are alien to the world around you that you've been aware of and have been experiencing your whole life. And that's such a, that's such a terrible feeling to, to feel from within yourself. It's like it, it, it comes with a pain that arguably can be remedied with pharmaceuticals, but I would never suggest that path. I don't know the, the, the destruction those cause. You know. Um, but, and then, you know, on the other hand, you have aloneness. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm stumbling through my thoughts as I film this. It came out a lot more fluid in my head. But then you have aloneness, and, and this is a sense of isolation with purpose. And I got to a point in my adolescence, pretty early on in my adolescence, where I preferred to be isolated. Um, for plenty of different reasons. One, I, I, I felt I was just socially inept. I had failed, you know, so many different relationships, friendships, um, you know, like you know, trying, tr you know, putting myself out there to, to, to date girls in the school at the time. I was terrible at that. Um, and it, up until that point, I, I was always lashing out at the world. And for me to be alone and to take that time to understand, you know, you, first you have to appreciate what it means to be alone. At the time, it was nice because uh, though I, I felt um, I was uh, an inefficient person overall myself, I knew that I was surrounding myself with people who were growing to be just as shitty as I was. So I wasn't fostering anything um, productive out of that. And you, you, a lot of people... I certainly did this. Clasp on to uh, another group of people that they know deep within themselves. They don't fully agree with how they view everything or how they do everything. But there's this overwhelming sense of belonging that so many of us are conflicted, uh, conflicted by, or inflicted by, maybe the better word. And. This inhibits an opportunity to, to instead seek aloneness. Because the loneliness scares us. A sense of belonging, um, that's, su that's such a, a grand existential task that so many people try to figure out 
for their entire lives, and they never find it. They never find that sense of belonging. And you know, sometimes you're not going to feel like you belong. Even, even though you know you're making um, strides in the right direction, you're going to hit those spots where it's, you find yourself being reminded of that glimmer of hopelessness. But you don't want to return to that. So you need to discover what's within you that is going to be your light against loneliness. And just and, and, and foster that into a lifestyle of perhaps discipline and in everything that you do it doesn't you know discipline is not a word that is synonymous with um i mean it is but it's not exclusively synonymous with exercise and dieting discipline is required for anything that you do if you want to write a book you have to be disciplined to first finish the book disciplined enough to 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 edit it disciplined enough to um, accept criticism that might uh, that might be given to you for your book and and you know realize whether or not that it, it's better to adjust it according to criticism or not um, everything else like being a chef being a musician being anything being a tradesman being a uh, a fighter, being a teacher, it, 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 all these things require discipline. And, and discipline is core. It, it, it's a core. And it's necessary for fostering your aloneness and utilizing it in a positive way. Um, and, you know, you don't have to already have something set aside for yourself creatively, like something that you know that you like to do in order for you to enjoy aloneness. Aloneness is a period of self-discovery, just as much as it is um, a nurturing process of an already established foundation of something that you enjoy doing. And there's so many people out there that do experience an unending sense of loneliness in their lives. And it's tough. And even though you feel like you do have a purpose, loneliness creeps up. And it, it, it creeps up in, in vicious ways at times. Ways that you wish it didn't. And it, sometimes it is difficult to peel yourself away from that and then just go back to your thing. But that's where, that's where the discipline comes in. I feel one of the hardest types of discipline to attain is that which requires you to combat negative thoughts, lonely thoughts, awful, ter terrorizing thoughts. Um, oh, Jesus. The point I was trying to make just drifted away from orbit. But... I'm sorry, I gotta regain that thought because I thought it was good. Give me a second. I feel as though that one of the hardest types of discipline to attain is that which gives you the strength to combat all your negative and, and ill thoughts, unwell things that you think on a daily basis and, and, and to, to shun them away from your mind so that you can you can regain traction on your path of betterment. Regain traction onto your path of, of wellness, physical and mental. It's a tough fucking journey for anybody who decides to pursue it. And you'll be criticized and you'll be tried to, you know, people attempt to talk you out of it. And, you know, you're gonna be you know, if you don't particularly have enough time in the day, like, that's one thing that makes people so hopeless is the amount of time that they have in a day. That's how I lived my life for so long. 
I, I refused to pursue anything or do anything or be anybody because I was convinced I can't do this. I have this, this, and that to do, and it takes up my entire day. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. For me, it's bullshit. And I had to, I had to, I had to be faced with that to, in order to realize it. Bullshit. You know, I can wake up early enough. I, I have a handful of hours to get things done instead of just fucking around on my phone. Because I find, and you know, you see it in YouTube shorts and everywhere else too. Like, you, you will find that even, even scrolling through your phone mindlessly, watching just stupid shit, that, that creates a sense of, of loneliness too. Because you are, you, are, you are actively pushing yourself away from what you're trying to achieve. You have to be harsh with yourself. Personally, I had to shame myself into, into getting better because I knew I was only getting worse. And I had to scare myself with what, I, what road I could have been led down because of my stagnation, my, my, my bitterness as I approached 30. I need to dispel that as much as I can. You know, the human condition... Does, you know, it does not allow you to be relieved of all suffering. This is a, this is a mandatory, mandatory staple of living. And it's all up to us to make the best of it. And it's fucking hard. It's hard because to make the best of it means to find purpose. Purpose is a motherfucker. Purpose is something that you, you could struggle with your entire life. So you just hope that you know, you were a good person to someone down the line, at least. And, and the thing is, when, when, I, when I find myself in a spot of aloneness, I fantasize. I, I fantasize uh, about being a better person. And though we all know it's like, you know, kind of a cringe image to be listening to glassy sky and, and doing pull-ups in the rain, push-ups in the rain or whatever. Well, fuck, the, like... Actually being in that position pumps you the fuck up, though. That, that's cool shit. That's cool shit. You know, whether you think it's, it's cringy or not. Yeah, it's cringy if you film it and you actually, you know, put the song. Or, it, I mean, I guess. But in that moment, that, that is, you know, music. That's, that's a hardcore motivator. And, and fantasizing yourself in positions where you are, you are reaching an apex where you're finding yourself cutting through the bullshit of your life. And it's an incredibly beautiful and freeing feeling. And if it only lasts for, for, for but, you know, a few moments in time, for that, for that day or that week, you know, you experienced it. And you can always seek it again with greater frequency. You can. I'm trying to right now, and it's, uh, I'm, I'm proud of myself. I'm making, you know, I'm taking a, some stuff forward. I'm tired of being a piece of shit. I'm tired of projecting my 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 insecurities and, and my bullshit onto others, especially those I love. We all gotta do what we can to to, to make ourselves a better a better place to live. You know, make 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 th this this body. That whatever thing inside of you inhibits, I, I, inhabits, make it a good place to be. Don't worry about making the world a great place to be. You gotta, you gotta start in here. This is, this is the world. This is the universe. Because in here you have control of everything. Most of what's out there you have no control of. And that's why aloneness is so important, because it gives you time to explore that universe from within. Sounds stupid, right? It's there, though. And it's, it's infinite. Unlimited exploration, unlimited discovery. Fraught with dead ends. Fraught with great moments. Peril, of course. 
setbacks. But the universe is nonetheless beautiful because it's all yours to explore. It's all yours to understand. That, that's why aloneness is really important to me. And that's it. That's it. That's all I have to say. I feel good. Thanks for listening. Later.